thank you for making time for us. We appreciate it. Uh, huge day for you. What is on your mind as you update the public about Heart Song? Now about a year and a half out from completion. I know. First of all, I can't wait for it to open. Uh, because of COVID, we didn't get to do all the wonderful things we did with the groundbreaking and all that. I wanted to do all these ceremonies. But now I came to just kind of talk about with the press what we were planning to do with it and what it meant to me. And it's really about, it's really more about the Smoky Mountains than the Dream More. It's more high class. And, uh, <laughs> but this one is kind of, well, it's high class. Yeah. It's got everything you'd want, but it's more of a lodge thing. And the term they use, I think, bringing the outdoors in and the indoors out. So you, you have that feeling of openness, like you really might be in the, in the forest, mm -hmm. in a lodge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've heard you've been hands-on, you know what's gonna be inside of it. What are you excited, can you think of something you're really excited about people seeing when this thing opens up? Well, I think they're gonna love all of it. We've got this wonderful lounge and we've got all these balconies uh, to the rooms, which people had really missed kind of at, at the Dream More Resort. But I think the thing I'm most excited about is the, is the recreational areas. Because we've got, we can actually, this is such a great place that we can actually have conventions here if we wanted to. Oh, awesome. You can actually seat like a thousand people for dinner, like at some of the tables for the time we're finished with everything and you know, in some of the rooms. So it's going to be amazing what we can do as far as having meetings, having groups, and having people come in for different reasons. And the rooms are going to be wonderful. You know how great the rooms are at, at the Dream More oh, Resort. Yeah. People right. love that. Yeah. Well, they'll be equally as pleased with the rooms for families and how we cater. Our main purpose is to cater to families. Yeah. So we will have all those special things that we have at Dream More, but they'll just be done differently. And your outfit and guitar you wore today. Yes. <laughs> straight to the display. I know they told me this and now <laughs> just know that whatever because we're beginning to like what, what we call like the Dolly experience where we're going to actually have things all over the park not just in a museum but different things you know where people can in different buildings and different places see different some of my artifacts and stuff like that okay. but f for this they said well whatever you wear and whatever guitar you play on the heart song uh, thing that we're doing today that that outfit and that guitar has to go in the lounge somewhere or somewhere in, in the Heart Song uh, Lodge. So I don't know if it'll be in the, in the lobby area or it'll be scattered somewhere around there because we use the colors that we're using in, in, oh. the, uh, in the lodge. Don't spill anything on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah no, we're we'll going to protect that. I guess they're going to want to keep it here right. so they'll make sure that they protect it I so I don't wear it again. Right. <laughs> I want to ask you about Sweet 1986. That is exciting. Well. What are you excited about about that tour bus and people getting a chance to sleep where you slept? Well, I think people have always been curious, the, the general public, about what it would be like to travel on a tour bus. What's it like living on a bus? Mm -hmm. Well, I loved it. I've spent my life as a gypsy, and I always call that the gypsy wagon. We're calling it Sweet 1986 because that's the year that Dollywood opened. But I, do, I did a little tour yesterday and I filled everybody in on all the little places in the bus that were important to me and you know where my things were and how I lived in the bus. But I think people are gonna love just feeling like they're there. Mm -hmm. And so all the money, as you know, goes to the Imagination Library because they're charging a big price to stay in 1986 suite. But that's for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's so all the money can go to buy more books, you know, for more children for the Imagination Library. But people will be happy to do it. There's people that do have money, you know, that'll say, oh, I'm just going to do that just for the charity, you know, purpose of it. But to also just see what it's like to live on Dolly's bus. <laughs> yeah. you have, do you have good memories on that bus? I have wonderful memories on that bus. I've had... I've had three different buses in my career. One of them's over at the, Heart, at the uh, Rainbows Museum, Chasing Rainbows, here on the park. And this one was my last bus, and I'm not touring that much anymore. Mm -hmm. So I thought this would be wonderful to let Dollywood have it so they could rent it out for the Imagination Library and to please the guests. Mm -hmm. People get a big kick out of that. A lot of, a lot of the fans, they kind of pool their money. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, it's a lot of money mm -hmm. you know, for a night. But they just kind of put their money together and they all get in there and they get a room, you know, at the hotel, I think, as part of the deal. They get a room also in addition to that. So if they do have friends or yeah. family or something, and if they don't like sleeping on the bus, I guess they can go to the room. 
<laughs> when you saw the redo of it and the readiness, what did you love about it? Or is there something on there that you thought, oh, I love this? Oh, well, I was I had a hand in some of that too, because what we, what we did, I thought it would be important for them to see like where I kept my show wigs, you know, my Are there all wigs? the stuff. Yeah, so we've in the back, there's little displays, kind of like how we're going to do my outfit from the lodge this morning, the guitar. But we have little places in the bus and also shows like where I had my show clothes you know, where all my gowns and, mm. and my things that, that I wore on stage. So we, we put a few of those in and a few things and one of the, the guitars that have all the rhinestones. So I love, they did a fantastic job doing it. And you can see, you know, through the, through the back, you know, where, how the, just how I lived. Mm. And then there's also space for the guests to have the, a little closet of their own and a couple of places for their luggage and all that. So they did a wonderful job making it you know, accessible to the guests, but also where they can actually feel like they're as part of a, a tour. Yeah, and yeah. benefiting Imagination Library. And benefiting that the continues Imagination continues to library. be a huge focus for yeah. you. Why is that the case? Well, because I love the Imagination Library. That's one of the best things I've ever been involved in. I'm so happy that it's done so well and continues to do so well because I love the kids and I do believe if you can read, you can self-educate yourself. You don't have to be able to afford to go to college or whatever. There's a book out there on everything you want to know. And so I just feel like that it's important, uh, the, the Imagination Library, for many reasons, just to give the kids a head start and yeah. get out there. And it just makes me proud of it. And in memory of your daddy. And my dad, yeah. as, as I mentioned, the reason it started, my dad couldn't read and write, but yeah. I got him involved. He helped me get it going. And so he took pride in it. So. You'd have thought he was a college graduate by the time we finished, <laughs> and I was so proud of that. Yeah. Last question, what's next for Dolly? I mean, what's not next for Dolly, but <laughs> I'd love an idea. What's, what, what should people be watching for? Well, right now, it still, still goes back to Dollywood. I am doing a Christmas special slash movie. I'm doing a Christmas special this year from Dollywood, but we're showing kind of the behind the scenes, how it's done. We're kind mm -hmm. of dramatizing some of that. It's mm -hmm. almost like a, a, a show within a show. Mm -hmm. And we've got wonderful guests like Miley Cyrus, Bill, uh, Jimmy Fallon, Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh, wow. We've got uh, Jimmy Allen. We've got Zach Williams. And who else am I missing? Uh, Anyway, uh, Willie Nelson. Yeah, we got Willie. Oh so uh, we're doing a lot of the songs from my Holly Dolly uh, Christmas album from right. last year, a lot, yeah. using a lot of the artists from that. But we're, it's all like uplifting things, fun stuff, and all done right here, and it'll be shown on NBC in December. In December? Yeah. And you're filming it here at And the we're park? filming every bit of it right here at Dollywood. Oh, my gosh. I'm proud of that. I